Hello Internet, uh, my name's Sam, also known as Floating Dino. I run the, the internet blog Ruckus Fiends. Um, I've had a lot of people uh, compliment me on my watermark, which emulates the old uh, date stamp on uh, uh, film cameras. Um, basically, I got the idea from my friend who has uh, a Yashica T3 which has this uh, cool little date stamp on the bottom. I thought it would be a great thing um, to use that kind of style to do my watermark, make it a little bit different. Um, I'm going to quickly show you how I do it normally and uh, how you can get the same sort of effect on your photos. So first of all, I usually just, I've created a little action to do this. So it's called uh, RF Quartz Date here. Uh, just hit play and that's it maybe put it above the effects and I get this nice uh, date stamp feature. Basically what that's doing is it's taking this file here, placing it on the photo, giving it a quick blur and changing the, uh, the blending mode to screen. Um, now if you want to make something like this for yourself, um, I, I would say start off with something like this, the um, a photo with a real date stamp on it and try and emulate it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in some text here. Maybe um, the name of your your uh, photography page or uh, business or whatever. So I'm just going to set it to about the right size there and the right spot. I mean, you can be a little bit creative with it, move it around the page. Whatever you want, I mean, if you want to go for the super um, realistic emulation of the uh, of the true the truth here, um, then obviously you want to get it spot on. Um, so I'm using this font DS Digital. I think I just got it from Da Font. Um, it was a free font, uh, I think, and it's set it to italic. Um, okay, so. The main thing now, we're going to change the color, um, I reckon somewhere around here. That'll probably get us pretty good. Um, swap it over to screen. That's approximately the right color. Next thing, we want to go in, change the inner glow, make it a kind of ready orange color all the way. Um, not screen, probably soft light is going to do us best here. We can try, kind of check it on normal though to get the right sort of look for it. Um, kind of have this this bleeding in from the edges and swap it back to soft light, maybe 100% opacity. Next one, the outer glow. We want to get uh, another one about the same color, this kind of orange color. Um, probably bring down the range a little bit and bring up the size. Um, this isn't really accurate to this one here, the uh, actual date stamp here, but um, I think it makes it look reasonably, uh, it kind of sells the effect a little bit better, makes it look um, more real. So maybe about there. So you'll see that uh, on the original it's actually quite faint, where this one is reasonably um, reasonably well visible. So I mean you might want to bring down the overall opacity there, maybe 90%. Um, and now if we want to get this to work on uh, one of our other photos, we want to, uh, I mean you could just do this, save the file, um, but this is a, a different resolution to most of my stuff, so I'm going to select both, duplicate layers across to my working document here, and um, scale them up together so that that's accurate, and I can delete the background now, I'll delete that one underneath. Um, and now what I want to do is um, delete everything underneath. I'm going to save the file. 
um, whatever pictures, um, call it whatever you like. Um, open up uh, a file again, and uh, if we want to do this uh, this action here, what you do is hit record. Oh, wait, sorry. Not record. New action. Call it whatever you like. And record file um, place. And we find our watermark here. Place it. Yep, that's right. Change the blending mode to screen. And to sell it, I like to run a little bit of a a blur. Use uh, go into the menu so that it registers as a smart effect. And maybe one pixel, maybe a little bit less. About 0 0.8 is what I usually do. But I find I have to adjust it a little bit depending on the resolution of the photo. Um, yeah, so that's reasonably close. If uh, there's anything we want to change here, we can come across back into this one and uh, maybe adjust the base color and save it and uh, that should update here as well and uh, hopefully uh, sorry I've gone too far here nope nope bin those so yeah, all you need is place, set current layer, Gaussian blur, and then stop the thing. And you can uh, just any time that you want the watermark on your photo, just hit play on that action and it'll get right in there. No worries. Um, if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment below, send an ask on the, the Tumblr page, um, whatever you like. I'm kind of open to uh, starting to do a few more of these tutorials as necessary. Thanks for watching, um, hope it helps. That's all for today.